Well, this year all the smartphones that have launched seem to be getting beautiful and like really beautiful, don't you think? Like from the Huawei P20 Pro to the OnePlus 6 to the Vivo X21, all of them look gorgeous, especially with the curved glass back and also that notch. The Honor 10 has all these beauty elements and we just love the form factor here. It's smooth, feels very well made and is undoubtedly the most premium feeling Honor yet that rallies its budget market position. The redesigned fingerprint scanner which instead of being on the rear or intended on the front of the phone now sits at the lower bezel but under the glass so it's flush with display. The screen looks great for reading and watching videos, if the notch doesn't annoy you, that is. The Honor 10 has Huawei's own Kirin 970 processor, one that was seen on the P20 Pro and also on Honor's own View 10, as well as the EMUI 8.1 user interface over Android 8.1 Oreo. Our review unit of the Honor 10 has 6GB of RAM and a massive 128GB of storage space. Huawei's EMUI software will always split opinions now. Despite the recent improvements in the user interface, it's far less likely to win new fans on the Honor 10. There's a noticeable lag when opening apps, the app drawer or the navigating around the operating system due to the app opening animation is just a tiny bit too long and not always absolutely smooth. Once you're in the app, the phone isn't slow at all. You will get around with your regular task and multitasking with ease. However, Honor 10 definitely feels like it could do with some software polish to improve the experience. Now what you get is a dual lens with f1.8 aperture on the back of the Honor 10 with 24 megapixel RGB lens and 16 megapixel monochrome lens. The latter being able to be used separately for some beautiful natural black and white photographs. Artificial intelligence plays a big role here as well just like on the P20 Pro and the View 10. Here it's clever enough to recognize differences in scenes. It can tune the image on all its aspects rather than just one. No, and it doesn't have the third camera lens, the 5x zoom or the slow-mo or the astonishingly low light ability, but it's still a fantastic performer that inspires you to go out and take pictures. The Honor 10 has a 34mAh battery inside and it's a strong performer. We're confident the phone's battery will run for a day and a half with normal use. So overall, the Honor 10 is a good looking device. The camera is good, the battery life is amazing. The performance is also good. Now it's just the UI experience that has to be taken care of now. <laughs>